Hello there cuties, it's Heather Sparkles and for today's video I just wanted to do a try on haul of some of the new clothes I thrifted for myself at Goodwill during their Black Friday sale. So I went out for Black Friday and I wasn't originally planning on doing it but I needed to get some new filming equipment because I was going to go urban exploring for the first time and while I was out I realized I actually needed something to wear to that event. I needed some cool boots, I needed something warm to wear. So I got myself some clothes for that and I also got myself some really cute new clothes for my wardrobe from Goodwill. Everything was 50% off and Goodwill's already pretty cheap. So I'm really glad I was able to thrift myself some new clothes and new shoes and you guys wouldn't believe some of the deals I got. So let's just jump into this try on haul. So the first thing I picked up is this really cute dress. It has this sort of like gothic vibe about it that I am all about right now in my life. It has this really pretty, what do you call this like brick Cade um, pattern on it. It's just so pretty. I really, really like this. So I paired it with this belt that I have that I think is like really cute and I think it goes with it really well. I actually got this belt at another Goodwill store. So it's always fun whenever I find like different pieces thrifting and I'm able to put them together. So I absolutely love this dress. I just think that this style is just so flattering on my body type. And especially because I'm short, I just feel like it looks really good on me. So I'm crazy about this style of dress. I love how it's open in the back. I just think it looks really, really good. I'm also wearing some boots with it that I'm gonna be showing you guys here in a bit. All right, so I think this next look is really fun and it definitely makes me feel really grown up but like really cool at the same time. So this is a little turtleneck dress from Calvin Klein. So here's what it looks like. So it has this little turtleneck right here and I actually think it looks really cool. It's kind of like a really cool scarf. I think this dress looks so good with like a little jacket like this. So I might also wear one of my little belts with it. At the moment, I have on some really cool black knee-high boots that I'm gonna tell you guys about in a minute. All right, so let's talk about this cool little jacket I've paired it with. So this jacket is really, really comfy. I originally wasn't gonna get it because I was thinking there's no way this is gonna fit me, but I put it on and it looks so good. Like it's really tiny, and with like tiny jackets, they can look kind of ridiculous like they don't fit. But this thing just looks so flattering on me. I think it really um, fits my arms really nice and makes them look so good. And I just love how it fits around my waist for dresses. I just think it's a really cute little jacket. I also got this super, super cheap. Here's what the sleeves look like. It's just so cute. I love this combination. So I got these amazing vegan friendly boots for only $5. They were originally $10 and they are from Aerosols. So I would imagine that brand might have been kind of expensive at first. These are just in such good condition. They look like they weren't even worn, but the toes are like already broken in a little bit, I think. They have this really cool chain right here. I just absolutely fell in love with them. I think every girl needs a pair of knee-high black boots in their wardrobe. I am obsessed with black boots right now and I'm obsessed with heels. Everything has to have a heel and everything has to be black. And I just fell in love with these boots. I think they look so good, except for I noticed after wearing them for an hour, my big toe really hurts, which is surprising, but not surprising because dress shoes and me just never work. And to get them for only $5, I was so excited whenever I found these. So I think this was definitely the steal of the day. And I'm sorry, I keep looking at this cool jacket. I just think this looks so good. Like, I love this. It's so comfy. See, for me, with jackets, right here is where, like, they tend not to fit me. And on here, while it's a little bit tight right there, it's still stretchy and comfy. So I was just so excited whenever I found this little thing because I think it's so cute. And, like, look, I already have, like, a full outfit on. This is so great. For me, I've been having a problem in my wardrobe where I could not find, like, dress shoes that I could walk in that were comfortable. And I'm sorry, I keep going from boot to no boot, boot 
to no boot. So there's like a lot of things in my wardrobe that I just couldn't wear. Like I couldn't wear a dress and tights and a cold jacket because the only shoes I had that were even comfortable on me were sneakers. And so lately, like I've been actually finding <laughs> dress shoes with a heel that I can wear and walk in and be comfortable in. And it's just been life changing as far as like my wardrobe. I notice whenever I wear the heels, I just walk with so much more confidence and it just transforms my whole look and my outfit. So like everything has to have a heel on it now. So this next one is actually going up for sale on my Depop page that I really need to restock. I was supposed to restock it for Cyber Monday and Black Friday, but it was just a not so great weekend for that. I had a lot going on. But I grabbed this really cute Christmas vintage puff paint top, and honestly, it's so comfy and so cute. And I hope that one of you guys will adopt it. <laughs> I think it'll look so cute on you for Christmas. So yeah, this one's actually really nice. It's really comfy. The only problem was that I believe on this side, right there, there's a little hole that I'm gonna have to hem before I list it for sale. So I gotta do that. But the design on the shirt is really cute. There's a close up of the design. <laughs> it's super adorable and I thought it was worth grabbing for Depop. So if you end up wanting to buy this, uh, my Depop is at Heather Sparkles and I am gonna be restocking for sure this week. <laughs> I need to restock. I wanna get clothes up. I have so many clothes that are ready to go. I just gotta post the pictures. So these magical gems are some early 90s denim and co overalls. They are incredible. They're not so flattering from behind, but they are seriously like so rad. Whenever I saw those, I was like, oh my God, these would be perfect for Depop. Like look at the um, little details on the front pocket here and whoa, it's divided on each side. Yeah, it's just like four little divided pockets. But I don't know, man, they're so cool. Like I might, I might have to keep them. I think they'd be cool for a photo shoot. <laughs> Just like a really cool early 90s style photo shoot because these are just so fun like they're hemmed at the bottom super cute and I don't know I might have to keep them I think they look really cute with this shirt that I got from forever 21 a couple months ago they need adjusted a little bit they need to be up a little bit higher <laughs> but yeah so I don't know if they're gonna go on Depop or if I'm gonna keep them I just I really have fallen in love with these dang things I have been wanting overalls for so long and I know these are like ridiculous but they're really fun so we'll see if this ends up on my depop or not but for now I might be hanging on to them and at least doing one photo shoot with them before I sell them so this next dress was too good not to get I'm absolutely in love with it so this is a pink like kind of dusty pink velvet little mini dress <laughs> and it can be a little bit longer you know or you can wear it a little bit shorter you know so I absolutely love this dress and I'll admit I was kind of afraid to model it on YouTube because I wasn't sure how people would feel about me dressing a little bit sexier and I posted it on Instagram and you girls were so sweet to me so thank you so much for being so accepting and you know positive about like women being sexy and just wearing clothes that make them feel good. Thank you so much because whenever I dress sexy, I just feel so good about myself and so empowered. And whenever I threw this dress on, I was like, oh my gosh, I love it so much. So I'm still trying to figure out the front here. It has this lacing that's always like uneven. <laughs> it's supposed to go like all the way up, I think. So I'm gonna try to fix that, but I just love how, you know, it fits in my chest area and I just, I love this dress so much. I think it's so cute and I'm glad that I got some tights to wear under it. I'm also wearing some cool boots with it. <laughs> so I don't know if I would wear black under it, but I think the black goes really well. I have these um, tights that have little black crystals on them. So yeah, it definitely looks good with something under it. I wouldn't wear it without something under it. I think with something under it, you can get away with like riding it up a little bit shorter and it just looks so good. I love this dress so much. All right, so this next combo is a few more things I wanted to show you. So I absolutely love this thing. So this is a little 
tank top dress from Target and it's covered in cat hair right now but I promise you it's super adorable. So I've been wearing this over my leggings just so I could feel a little bit more dressed and for it to be a little bit more modest and it looks so good over leggings and under sweaters and it's super comfortable and it fits me beautifully so I love this thing. It's definitely a new staple part of my wardrobe. I love those little like clothing pieces that you can just wear with everything. I like to have stuff like that. Along with that is something that I wouldn't normally wear with it, but honestly, it does not look so bad together. <laughs> so I got these really cool pants. And whenever I find pants that fit, it's always very exciting because I had a trouble with pants for a long time and these fit me perfect. And they look so good on my legs. So these are black velvet and leopard print, which is a really fun combo. And they just look so good. I can wear these with so many different things. And then the shoes are actually vintage and I'm really excited about them and I'm gonna be giving you guys more of a close-up look at them. So yeah, love this. It's good to have stuff like this and it's always exciting whenever I find more pants that actually fit me. I am so in love with these little vintage heels. I'll admit they're a little bit hard for me to walk in because the heel is so teeny tiny, but look at how adorable they are. These are from a brand called Wild Pear by Will Bond, and I absolutely love the detailing on the side of them. Unfortunately, they are not vegan, but considering they are vintage and thrifted, I think that's okay. This next pair of shoes only came out to $1.50 on sale. These are from Justice, and Justice always has the coolest shoes. Now I'll admit from the front, they're not exactly my style, but whenever I saw the sparkle in the back, I knew I had to have them, especially for like $1.50. I mean, how could I turn them down? These are my favorite boots right now. Oh my goodness. So I ended up getting these at Burlington. So you're gonna see a little bit of my Burlington shoe haul and my thrifted shoe haul in this video. I think these are so, so cool. I needed a pair of like those staple ankle high black boots. I'm not sure about the texturing on this one. It has this kind of loose material that I worry is gonna get scratched, but otherwise those are amazing. So these are my new like awesome knee-high boots. I also got these at Burlington. They just make me feel like a video game character. I absolutely love these. I love all the detailing on them. They definitely make me feel so, so cool. So at Goodwill, all those clothing items only came out to $30, which is a great deal for three pairs of shoes, some pants, a couple of dresses, and I can't remember what else I got. Oh, I also got a really cute little mermaid VHS tape that is from the 90s, and I left that in a bag out there, but for $30 for all that was just amazing because it would have been so much more if everything wasn't 50% off, so I was really excited about that deal. I'm definitely gonna make sure that Goodwill is gonna be part of my Black Friday stop from now on because everything's already pretty cheap, and then whenever those prices are slashed in half, it's like, oh my gosh, so that was a really good deal, and I love buying secondhand clothes. I think it's such a great thing. So now for my new favorite piece of clothing. I am absolutely obsessed with this jacket. I think everyone needs that one clothing item that they feel like they can wear with anything and it makes them feel so empowered and inspired. And that's what this jacket does for me. It is so comfy in the arms. It's not tight right here or anything. I can move. It looks amazing thrown over just about everything. I love it so much. It has some really cute little pockets on the front. I'm just so obsessed with this jacket. And then the hood is like hoodie material. It's so nice, oh my God. I love this jacket so much. I wore it urban exploring and it just was so nice and it goes really well over top of a sweater. So like I'm still nice and warm, but I look really cool. Um, it also has that hoodie material on the cuffs and the material it's made out of is so soft and flexible. So, a little bit about this jacket. Uh, the only downfall about it is I don't like that the pockets aren't very deep and the zipper's kind of scratchy. But what I do like is that this is 100% vegan leather, which is very important to me because I am a vegan and I don't believe in buying real leather unless it's like secondhand and it already exists, then okay. But I'm not gonna like pay for something leather, you know what I mean? So 
No animals have been harmed in the making of this garment. This is by Cavallini. And here's what the tag looks like that it comes with. It feels really nice. So it's really awesome that, you know, with today's technology, they can make some material that just looks so like legit, <laughs> but it's synthetic material. I think that's wonderful. So no need to skin any animals to make anything. So I love this jacket. I think it's so cool. It just fits me so nice. And it just looks so rad with everything. It just, this jacket just makes me feel so good about myself. It makes me feel so empowered. And lately, you guys may have noticed, I've been wearing a lot of black. So the thing is, I still love my kawaii stuff. I love the pastel fashion. I love all that stuff. But I find that whenever I wear black, I feel so empowered and I feel like I can just take on the world. And I'm moving into this new phase in my life where I need to feel empowered. I need to feel strong, you know? And whenever I wear stuff like this out in the world, I just feel like so adventurous and creative and strong. Whenever I wear the cutesy stuff, yes, people enjoy it and I enjoy it and like no one messes with me or anything like that, but I just don't feel as confident as I do whenever I wear black, <laughs> you know what I mean? It just makes me feel so good. Um, I don't like the way black photographs though. It's really hard for me to get good pictures of my clothes. I prefer clothes that are colorful and really fun, but it's just nice to do it all. <laughs> like I'm a girl that one day I can dress like really pink and the next day I'm wearing, you know, a more edgy darker look and I think that's fun I don't like to put myself in a box I like so many different fashion styles and just different aesthetics and it's fun just to play with each of those each day and not just stick to one thing like you shouldn't worry about just being one way if you like something wear it you know so that's what I've been trying to embrace lately so I decided to treat myself to something that I thought was a really good deal. So on filming days, I try to wear my contacts so I can wear my lashes. Today I am wearing these LA Splash Cosmetics Lash Tees Faux Mink Lashes. These are absolutely stunning. That's what I have on right now. They are insanely, insanely beautiful. And there's like cat hair all over them already. And I'm like, great, why is this my life? <laughs> That's okay though. So this is the Wickedly Divine collection. And oh my gosh, hashtag mood, right? So I believe I'm wearing the ones called Bride's Revenge, but there's ones called Evil Doer, Bloodlust, Black of Night, Fallen Angel, and Bride's Revenge. And I got these for only $6. And I'm gonna go back and get another pack of these because these are the most stunning eyelashes I have ever worn. I really, really like these and you cannot beat the price because I've gone to like Walgreens and like one pair of lashes alone like this is the same price as like this whole pack and you get all of these and they're so beautiful. There's so many lash styles in there. It's crazy. There is this ooh la la one I can't wait to try. Doll face, XOXO, night out classic, pixie, bombshell. I cannot wait to try that one as well. Showstopper, stunner, and glam life. But like I said, I'm excited for the ooh la la, like really pointy ones. So I thought this pack was really cool because it has a wide variety of styles for me to try so I could figure out like what false eyelashes I prefer to wear since I'm just starting to wear these. So I thought that was really cool. And this was only $10 originally. $20 apparently so I thought this was really really cool so yeah I thought that was pretty good and as long as I take care of them I mean the lashes should last me quite a few applications so I treated myself to those another thing I bought at Burlington that I don't have in the room with me are some black leggings that are insulated and I love them so much like I love just having black leggings I can wear under stuff and wear with my boots and they keep me so nice and toasty now that it's all snowy out there how could I not buy this? You guys know I'm a big fan of Betsy Johnson. I have quite a few Betsy bags, which I always get at discount stores like Ross or Marshalls. I honestly, I love her bags, but I'm not gonna pay $80 for one. I'd much rather spend like 25, 30 bucks. So that's how I've been getting all of my Betsy bags is at these cheaper stores. And I saw this amazing cutie on clearance for only $20. This bag is so freaking cute. Oh my God, I can't. <laughs> it's so cute. And it's really comfy. I like how it's nice and flat. So it's pretty compact. 
and it's really comfy to wear. So I plan to do quite a lot of traveling in 2019. So I like to have backpacks. And whenever I saw this and I felt like how soft it is. Oh look, it looks like I'm rubbing its tummy and it's like falling asleep. <laughs> I just had to have it. I really like the um, the metal eyelashes. I thought that was just a, such a nice detail and I like the little heart nose. I think it might be a koala bear, I'm not sure. On here, I guess it's like a little ID holder and it has the little paw print. I thought that was really sweet and it can like clip off. Um, let's see what the inside looks like. Boop. <laughs> so the inside has So the inside is just like one main compartment and there's some little divides up here and a little zippered pouch here. Actually, how deep does this go? Oh good, so it's big enough to hold my phone, so that's good. Um, so yeah, it has like the typical Betsy writing in there with all the little speech bubbles. But I don't know, I just thought it was really worth grabbing. I mean, $20? for a nice Betsy Johnson backpack. I had to get it. I thought it was really, really cute. Well, cuties, that's all for today's video. I'm really tired and I'm gonna go unwind now, but I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me. If you got any good Black Friday deals, let me know in the comment section down below and feel free to let me know what your favorite outfit piece from this haul was. I love you all so much and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Remember, stay weird and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.